Sarah. I want to do the September art journal page, guys. I decided to do a Zia, well, a Zentangle inspired piece of art. So that's what they, they call it, Zia, Zia, I don't know what it is. Anyway, because Zentangle is basically just um, like this, kind of repeating, or not even, well, you repeat a pattern, but you just do it in random spots to fill a, a page, and that's considered a Zentangle. But if you turn it, if you do, like this is a heart, so I made a shape, and then I put Zia strings in there, or strings, just to separate out sections and then you put different designs in each of the sections that's considered um, Zen, Zen, um, a Zentangle inspired piece of art um, I've done it on all different types of paper so this is craft paper with gel pens uh, black cardstock with white um, either that's probably a gel pen um, and then this is just then I got this book Zenspirations this is by Joanne Fink, and she just makes, like, this is frames, shapes, monograms, patterns, and borders, because she's um, a, a calligrapher. She um, loves pens and just making swirly lines and stuff, so she decided to, to kind of make it a little different than regular um, Zentangling, so she calls it Zenspirations. So it's just a play on that feel. Um, but I also wanted to use my Prismacolor pencils, so art journaling for me has become a way for me to use supplies that I don't use all the time, and I got these, actually, I think I got them at Walmart. I had a smaller pack, but I have this bigger pack. So there's like three different color greens. Um, so I want to I wanna play, and I don't do pencil. I'm not like very... Uh, like, not that I'm not good at it, but I'm not, I haven't perfected it. I don't know how to do it really perfect. But these are soft, thick core. They create a smooth crayon color lay down for superior blending and shading. Um, anywho, they're Prismacolor. They're good. So, again, just, we'll get there. But these are just different examples of different Zentangle ATCs that, I, that I've done. This is more what I'm thinking, because I'm going to do mushrooms. So this is one of my faves. Um, I did a video for this, too, so I'll come in a little bit and show you. So I would say this is Zentangle-inspired art, because I'm actually drawing different shapes, and then I'm Zentangling inside them, if you know what I mean. So, like, here's a sailboat. I just drew the sailboat and then made some strings and then filled in with the different patterns that you can do. I did words. So this is dream, love, create. And then here's one with color, hope, where I just colored in the background and left the letters plain. Then this one is based off of a stained glass piece that I did with the hot air balloons. And like, so I definitely, I think I use watercolor for these. This is probably watercolor paper. I just did, this is another stained glass piece, a tulip that I have. And I just gently put some color in there. Um, this is just stars. Um, more black with metallic. These are gel pens, definitely. Just all sparkly and glittery. Um, ATCs are a great way to start. So this is just a very basic one. I just made swirly lines going across and just put some patterns in there. And that's Zentangling. So it's not hard, but, okay, so here, here's what I'm getting at. This is more of a Zenspiration, and I thought I had some, um, because I used pattern paper on the back of this one. But let me see if I have... I did a couple of these and I just wanted to show you, well I did this, the butterfly and the heart, but I thought I had another scenery. I'm pretty sure I did another flowers one. Just can't find it because I have so many. Anywho, um, this is more of 
what Joanne Fink was doing with the Zenspirations. And so, but for today, I'm going to do mushrooms. So I got, I went, I just went to Michael's, which I have not been to Michael's in forever. Had to look around. Anyway, I bought this, which is called Bristol. And I'm not positive, but I think... It's exceptionally smooth, and and that's that's kind of I don't know what I wanted because when you do line work, I don't want to use bumpy watercolor paper or mixed media paper, so I wanted it smooth, and so I've cut that down to our six by nine inch page that we've been doing our art journal um, last year and this year, and then I'm just gonna draw with a pencil. Um, and just sketch out what I'm thinking. Now I'm thinking I could do some scenery, so there could be some clouds in the sky, and a sea, but I could also just do a big mushroom in the middle and keep it simple. Um, so I think I'm going to go off camera and decide, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what I've what I think I'm going to do and then I'll show you. I think I'm going to use two. I wanted to tell you. If you have them, use your Micron. These are the Micron. These are what um, Joanne Fink recommends. These are her favorites. They're by Sakura. Let's see if it's in here. Here they are. The, Mic the Pigma Microns. They're by Sakura. Pigma Micron. And I have the O1, which is her favorite, which is very um, so 01 is a 0.25 millimeter and then this is just a 1 which it's a much thicker line I like to when I do my designs like like this I would have done the heart shape it looks like I did a lot of thick lines in here but the main shape would be with a thicker line and then when I'm doing all the little details I'll use a thinner line but if you don't have those you could just use like this, for instance, is, I don't know if this will tell what millimeter it is. Um, it says fine, but this is an ultra fine. So this says 0.24. Yeah, so this is comparable to the 0.01. I just happen to have it. And then this is a much thicker black ink pen. So you could use whatever you have. It's just that these are kind of, I think they're more um, meant for this type of thing. They maybe don't smudge, they're permanent. Um, but she says she likes them because they're rich. Black ink flows nicely without skipping. It is permanent and archival and the pen tip allows me to easily build up my line weight by double and triple stroking. So that's why she likes it, right? Um, she wrote a book, so you know she's done it quite a bit I'm just doing it for fun so I want you guys to use what you have um, but I am gonna just sketch out my basic design first with pencil so that I know where I'm going because you can't erase obviously pen so I'll be right back and I'll show you what I'm gonna do alright you know what I decided to do this on camera I'm gonna I didn't do it on my Bristol yet I just have a piece of regular printer paper um, I want you guys to just play around with different shapes. So, all right, let's split this in half. So we have this much room. I'll zoom in on that. And so a mushroom, I picked a bunch. I talked about this in my live because I was going to use the actual mushrooms as inspiration and they like melted and by like disintegrated on my desk and it was gross and stinky. But anyway, um, so if you just Google it then, I just Googled Zentangle Mushrooms and you'll see a bunch of different versions of mushrooms. And basically it's a simple like shape, right? It has a little cap and it ha then generally there's like an underneath part. So like if you did it like that and then you could go like this, that's one way to do it right and then you could make the little lines that are underneath like this and you could just put circles which I love that idea these are little fairy kinda um, mushrooms but they also have a cool little I drew this on one of my samples they have like say so then you can change it to more of like a a top like it something like this and then have the stalk so you can get a little more 
ex experimental with it but they have these little fun little like things like that I'm not man I don't have my words today but that way you can make these things come out from the center and you don't I mean you could zentangle the whole top like just and then you put a pattern in here a pattern in here and a pattern in there so and then you could just make pattern coming all the way down whatever so but a lot of them do have this little so here's one that's just super simple and you would have a first part and then a second part so you could just do this as a separate little section and you don't even need the little underneath part to show um, there's different ones that are actually like a house because they make fairy houses out of mushrooms I have a stamp that's like that um, so or like so now I'm thinking I could just because I really like the idea of making it like a little garden like a mushroom garden so I would have like some type of ground and just have different size mushrooms so a big one up here so we'll do it over here if you have some ground and you would zentangle this too so you could have it you could have a hill going this way and you could zentangle this hill and have this hill go in a different pattern and then you would have all different size mushrooms See, I'm not going to be able to sketch this out too fast. Have a tall, skinny mushroom up here and have a big, wide, umbrella-like mushroom, which that did not come out right. That looks like I'm making a turtle. Um, and then you could put clouds in the sky. That looks like a mushroom. But And then you could also have little flowers. You could have a snail. So, because I love bugs and critters, so you could just put a big zentangly snail right up on top of this. He's just walking along. I think I'm going to do that. You could have little leaves just sticking out from the bottom. I mean, like, this is what I was, um, I had this one. This one is so cute with these flowers. I just love these little, it's a, I don't know, like a leaf things sticking up so and you could put a little flower in there just like in the background so but then the mushrooms are going to be the biggest part of the of the thing all right so I'm going to go away and get the main lines of my design see how I made the ground here this is more Joanne Fink style of um, zentangling the, it's then doodling right so she just doodled in the double lines so if you make a double line then you're not filling in all the ground so I could do it both ways and either way would be good and either way as long as it's fun that's what the main thing is and then I'm hoping to use my Prisma colors we'll see um, but like I'm gonna use that Bristol that's why I got the Bristol and I'm just gonna lightly add some color So I'm not really sure. I've not I've not worked with water. I'm sorry. I have worked with watercolor with um, pencils too much. So I'm not positive if it's just going to screw it up. But I think I do want to do it. So it's going to be something like this: big mushrooms with little flowers and little leaves um, and grass, and probably maybe I'll make a hill in the background so that this whole background can be entangled but that's just one option and it'll take a lot longer obviously the more ground you want to cover so to speak right with your okay so let me just I'll just grab my iPad since I have it out and just show you on here some of the inspiration I'm seeing so like see like this one for instance here it has the hills and but that's it and then you have like this one they made into a like a picture see it's just where it's doodles that's basically what it is it's all doodles um, I, it gets away from the mushrooms which I really it's already October you guys but if well and there's still plenty of mushrooms out there but in September everywhere well, I walk every day and when I was walking all I would see was mushrooms everywhere and they were they just 
I got very curious about them and I picked them like look at this one this is just cute they're kind of swirled around each other so you can do it whatever way you want to see look this is just a crowd of mushrooms I love that with just leaves on the bottom simple see that's what I should do is just stick with something basic but see how they made these little I don't know this little lacy part that's at the neck of the mushroom that's just a little added interest and then here's just one mushroom that's just got a bunch of cool designs on it so you could do that um, see here's a fairy mushroom like a fairy house with mushroom clouds and a and like leaf trees but it's all just pattern and so there's nothing you know it it's all gonna be correct you can't you can't mess it up the only way you can mess it up is if you made a line so like look at this one this is cool so they just started at the bottom and just made pod flowers look there's a sun and a star and a cloud but then they just put a gentle pattern in the very background now we're getting into tattoos oh I got a tattoo I got my unk my brother got a big onk on his forearm and I just got this um onk means life uh anywho it it's I want you to have fun with it but I'm picking mushrooms because I like um pretend and fairies and fantasy and I was just inspired by them because they're all shapes and they were all over the place like this is just look at this one that is super cool so you can fill a page with mushrooms um, I haven't decided if I want to go across or up and down all my other pages are going up and down so that's <clears throat> kind of where I think I'm headed so alright I'm gonna put this away and I'm going to I think go with something like this alright so I'm gonna lightly sketch that out on my Bristol which is just basically a smooth piece of paper with this is a, a pretty thick it's a the graph gear 1000 Pentel I forget what size it says nine on here anywho I'm gonna but I think it's a pretty soft pencil line so I am going to, I'm going to go off camera and do this because I just don't want to take up the time. I'll be right back. All right. I did both sides and it's, it's hard. When you're doing it freehand, you just got to go with it and just enjoy the process, guys. So I made like a ground here and then I made a hill in the background because I wanted to fill, I wanted that to be more green and then this will be blue and I made clouds. Here's my number one. This is the Pigma Graphic One. And I'll show you what size line it makes. It's like, uh, you know what? It's a nice size line, but you can use whatever you have. Um, Faber Castell mix, pens, um, use Sharpies if you want to. So here's my other. I'm going to try, oh, this paper is very smooth for sure. Um, I think I want to put this here. I don't know if it's going to smudge, but I want to just, this way I'll have somewhere to rest my hand. And I'm trying to go over right where I made my pencil lines, but I just messed up. I'm going to try not to push so hard. And then... I can erase uh, the pencil lines if I really want to. I only put the main lines. I didn't do any of the Zentangle lines. I'll do them freehand. So hopefully you can see it's starting to come together. I'm really just putting the pen where I feel like I can 
pull it, pull it down easily and not, see I didn't go over the line there, I changed that. And that's part of being an artist, you can change it. I have creative license. And this little guy is funny looking. Well, I just wanted to round it out. I don't know why. And then this one, you know, there are really a lot. You guys should take a walk and go see if you find any mushrooms out there. So this, this stem comes down. I'm just going to go straight. And this one kind of bends. So I'm not staying on the lines very well. You get, and I do like the clouds because I'll be able to, oops, jeez, if I could only make a straight line. But guess what? When it's done, it's going to look terrific. Terrific. And then, I, I could probably give it a minute, but I have this eraser. I just want to make sure, yeah. All those lines will come off. And I actually, it kind of took off some of the darkness of the black, too. And then the rest of the lines, I won't have any pencil to worry about. Alright, so for the ground, I have this one. I like making the ground kind of look like I make the lines. I'm going to use the, um, the 01, the really thin line pen now. But I like to make the ground either like just swirls, like I could go like, hmm, I think... I want to do I don't know I think I'm going to do a wavy and it's okay if it gets out of whack a little bit and I'm, I gotta not push as hard But my pen is kind of, it's not doing what Joanne Sharp said and staying, or not skipping, she said, right? But it's okay if, it, if it's not exactly following the line. It's just got an undulating feel of like a hill. That's what I'm trying to create. My parakeets are freaking out. So that's one way to do it. Now for this back hill, I could, I think I'm going to divide it one more time. I'm going to go like up. So there's another hill. So different layers. Now in the sky, I like to do this. So I'm going to start here, and they could be, I could be closer, this isn't working, I just had to pick up, I, was, I pushed too hard I think. So just gentle pressure.
I'm still in the sky. You gotta, this can be very zen. See, that's why they call it Zen Tangle because it's very meditative. And so just make sure before you start that you know where you are. I don't know why I like this for the sky. It kind of feels, oops, and I just rode right over my cloud. This is more sky here. Joe's working on some lights. He's making LED boards this year. I don't know if I ever posted anything of his Christmas light display, but I will do it this year for sure. I might have. I forget if I did. That looks cool. All right, so I'm going to go off camera and I'm just going to go crazy. I'm going to make like I know for sure I want to do one of these with circles. I love to just, okay, so you make a big, you make some big circles. I guess that's considered medium. They're not that big. That's kind of big. So you just keep making circles and then as they get closer and together I can't fit big ones anymore so you have to start making them smaller and just keep going I'm going to fill this whole spot, this whole space with circles. So basically just repeat patterns they can be squiggly straight doesn't matter as long as they repeat so now I'm just really fitting them in every spot I can But that, this is when you really enjoy this O1 pen because you get such a fine line. You can really make some small details. So. Maybe he can fly his drone sorry I'm thinking of Joe he could fly his drone and take some video of our house when we put the Christmas lights up and then I'll put it on my YouTube channel but we I think he's gonna do some Halloween lights too cuz um so that looks cool and then I think I'm just gonna do the lines right there and then like I could do I mean you could keep your lines super close together but that's gonna take a lot more work or you can keep them far apart and then you'll still get a neat look but you won't have to make as many lines so I just made a checker pattern going down this stem.
So that's done. All right, so I'm going to go away and I'll be back. And then I'm going to try and um, add some color too. I don't know if that's going to look right or if I'll leave it black and white. I'll be right back. All right, it is done ish. Now, I made a mistake right at the end. <sighs> you probably wouldn't find it if I if we had a search thing. But anyway, um, I think I want to put, I want to make these, so I have dark, dark, dark. I think I'm going to make these little circles on this part of the mushroom dark too. And then I'm going to add some colored pencil. Um, this is my mistake right here. I started to I like my lines to go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. And I just kept making, anyway, I messed up. You can't tell. There's a little crosshatch line there. All right, so for, for the colored pencils, I think I'm going to, um, <clears throat> I think I'm just going to do the background. So. I have one, two, three, four different hills, but I think I have only three colors of green. I could do brown. So this is, these are Primacolor, Prismacolor, sorry, Premier, um, color pencil 24 set. I got this at Walmart last Christmas. They were just, um, they seemed really cheap and I just wanted to, because I only had a 12 set. So I think I'm going to, hmm, I don't know. I would like to add color, but I'm not sure in what way I should do that. I think I'm going to add blue to the sky. Let's see if this has names on it. It's just called True Blue. And then maybe, um, see, look, I this middle one, I have a little snail here and a little ladybug because I forgot to put the leaves and stuff on. I started zentangling. So I just zentangled this little section with um, like leaves and tendrils. So maybe I'll just color in all the leaves. Boy, these really are smooth and I think Bristol might be too um, a little bit thick for the the micron pens because it felt like my tip would give out on me every now and then it would I'd have to go back over my lines that's a funny looking leaf right there so I don't know why I just decided to color in these leaves instead of the whole hill uh, mostly I have swirlies, but there's definitely enough leaves. All right, I mean that gives, but like this little guy, I think I want to do some. I definitely want to do some. Well, now it's too late. I have to. So I think I'm just going to do it with a fine touch like I'm not gonna push really hard trying to hold the pencil back kind of far so I don't push too hard I really just want to get I'm, I'm gonna have to sharpen it I think oh I don't want any pencil lines I just want it to be soft I would love to take um, a colored pencil class. Um, I like someone from the decorative painting world's pieces and I can't think of her name. I can picture her. Uh, anywho, I'll talk about that in another video because I think she's bringing mixed media to her colored pencil work. So that's good. Um, I like that. It's just very 
light and I was going I was planning on doing the background and leaving the um, mushrooms as the but I'm gonna have to do this green too I'm gonna have to do the whole thing If you have to, you have to. It's what you have to do. I can do my little ladybug red. And I'm going to leave the mushrooms. So that's kind of, yeah. This is what I was hoping. I think the mushrooms are going to stand out far better if I just do the background and I'm kind of going around those leaves because I did them a different color so I'm hoping that they stay stay the different color I'm not being oh I just went over my my snail I was just gonna say I'm not being particularly neat but I didn't want to go over my snail all right I'm gonna go off camera and I'm going to color a few more things. I'll be right back. All right. I like it. I think it's cool. I think that helped the mushrooms to pop. I got my little critters on there. Um, I don't think I'm going to... You know what I have, though, and I was thinking I could just do... This is actually white. I don't want the white. But this is called... What is this called? Um, Wink of Stella. Here's the clear, and I have another one. I hope this one, I must have thrown the other one out, but you know what, this this might, yeah, I think I have it. I hope it doesn't smudge. But I have, this has like glitter in it, if you squeeze it. I think it's running out. I could just put stickles on there. I see it it's not um, like stickles it's it's a lot um, more subtle it's more of a shimmer than a glitter and it's just like a brush pen I was gonna add more dots to that I forgot but yeah you can kind of see it I have a white one but I think that would cover up the lines and the whole point of it is to zentangle it so hopefully you guys got zened out because I was so chill and relaxed it's kind of a rainy day I like it I like it a lot I hope you guys try it and just relax have fun with it I might do some ATCs like this because they are super fun but I'm pretty happy with it all right, you guys, so I went, I also got um, more clay. I got some black Sculpey Primo, and I got, this was 40% off, so $6.99 with 40% off, but I wanted the charms. There's a bat. Uh, what is that? A headstone. It's glittery. A pumpkin. A ghost. And a witch. I think that's it but I'm gonna embed those in some clay I also found these bigger stamps that I had so I'll probably stamp out a few of these I love the spider web because I can cut that in pieces maybe and this um, trick-or-treat I can cut into pieces I could leave it whole but the piece I'm gonna put these on to make a mosaic is small I love this house, the haunted house. So I'm probably going to stamp out some of them soon. I really love the spider. But then I have my little, these tiny ones. So these are really what I, I need to do. But I need to make some tiles so that I can make a Halloween mosaic. So that's probably what I'm going to do next because... Um, I have a little bit of time to play, and I'd like to get it done before uh, Halloween so that I could put candy in it, or maybe Joe could take it to work. So I hope you guys do this and have fun and zen out.
Alright, so that's September. I'm so excited. Thanks for watching.